Right, we've got to find the equation of the line that goes through the point C and is perpendicular to the line AB. So, this line is going to be somewhere around this sort of region. So, through the point AC and perpendicular to this, it's going to be roughly something like that, where that is perpendicular. Okay, so that's the line that goes through the point C and is perpendicular to AB. It's not necessarily halfway between A and B. It doesn't say anything about bisecting AB. It's just perpendicular. It could be here, could be here, could be here. Don't really know. It doesn't matter. Okay, so to get the equation of a line, you need the gradient of that line. So let's start there. We're going to get the gradient of our line from the gradient of this line. We're told that these two are perpendicular, so if you know the gradient of one, you know the gradient of the other. It's the negative inverse. So, let's work out the gradient of AB. Okay? So, AB the gradient M, gradient is represented by the letter M, I don't know why, it just is. Gradient is rise over run. Rise over run. So from A to B, what's the rise? Well, A is on the x-axis, so that's y equals zero, and B is at y equals four. So the rise is four minus zero. What's the run? Well, it's going from minus two. B is on the y-axis, so that's zero. So it's going from minus two to zero. So that's that distance, that point minus that one. So zero minus minus two, if you like. Or just going, for, if you can think of it like from minus two to zero is a distance of two, okay? So, that's 4 over 2, which is 2, okay? So the gradient of this line, sorry, AB, M is 2, okay? So now we can work out the M of our line. And like I said, the, if you know the gradient of one line and another one's perpendicular, you take, you, you've put that over one and change the sign, the negative inverse. That's how you go from the gradient of one, perpendic of one line to the line that's perpendicular to it. So, you can say therefore, for our line, um, the gradient is minus one over whatever the gradient of this one is, which is two. So, it's minus a half. We've got our gradient. Good. So, how do we go from there to the actual equation of the line? Well, there are two equations for expressing the equation of a straight line. You've probably seen y equals mx plus c, okay, that's one of them. The other one is this, y minus y1 is m x minus x1, where x1 and y1, the, the point x1, I'm going to change pens, where the point x1 y1 is any point on the line, okay? So these are two equations. X is any point. So you can express the equation of a straight line like this or like this. They're actually the same equation. They're two different forms of the same equation. And I strongly recommend you learn both. 
for some reason, in Britain anyway, this one seems to be taught more. But you should definitely know both because this one, it looks worse, but it's not. This one is better. It's really handy, this one, because you can pick any point on the line and you get the equation of the line. C here, that's the y-intercept. C equals y-intercept. It's the point where the line crosses the y-intercept there. If we were to use this one, we'd have to work out that point there. So with this equation, you're restricted to finding the y-intercept. But if you know this equation, you're not restricted to that. You can pick any point on the line. And guess what? We've been given a point on the line. We're told that the line we want passes through that point there, 5, 1. So our x1, y1 is 5 minus 1. Okay? So that's our x1, and that's our y1. So we're going to use this equation. So let's just stick in the numbers and the answer falls out. y minus our y1, this is our any point on the line, and our y1 is minus 1. So it's y minus, and then another minus. Don't make that mistake of thinking one minus is enough. There's two mi minuses here, that one and that one. So y minus minus 1 equals m, we know the gradient, it's minus a half, x minus x1. Our x1 is 5. There, we've won, we've done it. Just got to neaten that up and we've got the answer. So, therefore, y minus minus one is y plus one equals minus a half x, minus times minus is a plus five over two. Okay, take one over there, subtract one from both sides. We get y equals minus a half x, 5 over 2 minus 1 is 3 over 2. And that's it. That's the equation of our line. And we've left it in the form y equals mx plus c. So by answering the question, we've actually found out by chance. Well, not by chance. Just by answering the question, we found out that the y-intercept there is 3 over 2. Of our line. So like I said at the beginning, it could this point here where they cross could be anywhere and because it's 3 over 2 this is clearly not to scale. If that's 4, 2 is about there so 3 over 2 which is 1 and a half is about there. In reality the line is more like more like that if you want it to scale. But like I said, didn't need to know that at the beginning, doesn't matter. So that's how you do it. Learn this equation, it's really handy. y minus y1 is m, x minus x1.